life like this is what your life like try to live the Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Elizabeth Ashley. Tonight I'm going to be walking you through my productive wind down evening routine for a productive day. So let's get into it. The first thing I do at night is love a cup of tea. So I turn on my tea water and while that's warming up, I like to go turn on my uh, aromatherapy diffuser. Um, tonight I was using Santal which I get on Amazon. It's way more affordable than the Le Labo version and smells exactly the same. It's a nice, very relaxing, earthy toned scent. Um, and I think the Amazon version is well worth it. Next, I go into my living room and my general spaces and kind of clean up there. You can see my Chick-fil-A cups are everywhere. My pillows are all messed up. Um, and Isla just loves to look out of the window. So these pillows get defluffed super quickly. Um, and then I like to rearrange my remotes, just do a quick pickup. I, I don't know about you, but I love to walk out in the morning and make my coffee to a clean house. And I think it just makes a world of difference in my day. It makes me feel like I have control. I think a dirty house is like symbolic of a like cluttered mind. I guess a cluttered house is symbolic of a cluttered mind, but you get what I'm saying. Um, next I'll go in after I pick up around the house and just make my tea. Right now I'm obsessed with um, honey vanilla chamomile bedtime tea. It is so nice. Um, it reminds me so much of my childhood. My mom used to make it every night. And then I just add a little bit of honey for sweetness. Um, these cups are from Amazon. They're so cute. I'll make sure I link them down below. They're actually like a heart cut out. Adorable. Next, I go down to my desk and set out my goals for in the morning. I am definitely a visual person and I need to visualize what I have to do tomorrow. And I think if I schedule it on my calendar after I write down the to-do list, I definitely have to be at least like 80 to 90% more productive during the day. So I like to break it up and not only focus on work, but also my health and personal goals. Next, I'll go in and, you know, get ready for bed. This includes, you know, brushing teeth, doing my skincare routine, brushing my hair, um, and then picking up my bathroom. I think for me, having a skincare routine and a nightly ritual like this is so important to my overall health and well-being. First of all, I think that it adds a certain amount of structure to my life and I think with anything, consistency is the most important. And when you really lay out, you know, or create this like structured skincare routine, you can see the long-term effects of the consistency really pay off. I think when you don't have a skincare routine and you don't know exactly what you're doing and it's all over the place, I think that's where your skin starts to suffer and you don't see, um, quite the same results from that. So definitely read up on your skin, look at what it's doing um, and make, you know, I think it's important when you're developing it to kind of try different products and see what works for you. But once you do find certain things and just stick to that plan, um, don't go crazy trying all of these, you know, cheap kind of like random dollar store products and really invest in them and find what works for you. I think I might do an updated nighttime skincare routine video very soon because it's definitely changed, but some of my all time favorite products are the retinol serum from The Ordinary. I think it's a great price point, um, helps with my skin discoloration that I get from the sun. 
Um, and my favorite cleanser that I actually used in this video earlier is my Dermalogica um, cleanser. It's, it's quite expensive, but it's amazing. The next thing I do is go into my bedroom and really start that mental wind down. I'll take off all of my jewelry um, or the jewelry that does come off at night, my rings, my bracelets. I don't always necessarily do this, but um, recently I lost a diamond in one of my rings and I kind of realized, oh my gosh, I can't sleep in this all the time. So take it off, put your jewelry in a little bowl next to your bed. The next thing I do is turn on my app Headspace. If you guys haven't already checked it out, it is amazing. Every night I do a bedtime routine and I think it's so helpful for me. Um, I get a lot of work stress where I can't get to sleep because of it. Um, and this has helped me so much. So I definitely recommend my therapist is the one who turned me on to it. So check it out. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.